the first time ever, Jordan Cruz stands face to face with Tyler Bateman in a professional wrestling ring. This is a match I've wanted for a very long time. And I've been trying to figure out why is that? Because reasons seem to keep changing over the years. Tyler Bateman, no one doubts who you are. You are everything that you say you are. And that's that you're the goddamn man. And somehow you found a way to place a chip on your shoulder. You walk around like you've got something to prove to everybody. That couldn't be further from the truth, Bateman. You're the SoCal legend now. Like it or not, everybody looks up to you. You're the guy who's been everywhere that I'm trying to go. I'm the one with the real tip of my shoulder. And next week, for the first time in your entire career, you are not the most dangerous man in the ring. Because I am a starving dog fighting for the scraps. And you look like you've been eating long enough. Next week, I'm going to eat you alive. Pretend to have a chip on my shoulder. Jordan Cruz, for 18 years, I starved to death. I broke my body. I ground myself to dust for nothing. Not a sniff. Not a touch. Not a taste. Nothing. And I ate for two years, and someone else took that away from me. Someone else took that food out of my mouth, and they got to keep their job, and I'm back to this! <laughs> you have been on this job for three years. You got a WWE tryout, and you worked six internationally known names. I didn't have any of that. So do you talk to me about who has a chip on their shoulder, about what I have to prove. One thing's right though, you see that? It's not a nickname, that's a fucking name tag. Legend, nah. If anything in SoCal, I'm the goddamn boogeyman. So before you go to bed for this dream match, I need you to check under your bed, check the closet, I need you to make sure that I'm not there. You said you wanted this for a long time. I'm telling you right now, it ain't gonna be what you think it is, and that was a mistake. Your dream is going to turn into a nightmare when I climb inside it, Jordan. See you, heavy rain. Welcome to MPW's Heavy Rain, and we're starting out hot here with the Millennium Pro Wrestling National Championship match. The champion, Brennan Devine, takes on Hoss Hog. I am one of your commentating team, Dylan Cassiano, joined by Peaky Santino. Yeah, Cassiano, we, we're starting hard and heavy here with the, with the national champion, Brennan Devine, taking on, uh, well, he's not here all the time, the big bad Hoss Hog. Yeah, and Haas takes what he wants, as we see right now in the ring. Haas shows up when there's something on the line, and today, that's what it's all about, the MPW National Championship. Most definitely, Haas Hog, one of the larger competitors here in Southern California, really making a name for himself uh, and anywhere that he goes to. Pinky, you are not joking. Also known as a tag team specialist, Hoss Hogg has been going at it in singles action here in MPW for quite a while now. And Brennan Devine is usually, ooh, oh. some disrespect to start us off. Big slap. And you know, a lot of times when people hit Brandon Devine like that, he flips that switch that, you know, we see that intensity that comes out of him. Now I got embarrassed. Ooh, big words from Brendan Devine. Keeping a cool head, telling the big man Hoss Hog that now he's got to embarrass him. Like I was saying before, Brendan Devine, usually the biggest competitor in the ring. That is not the case tonight. Well, definitely, he's going to have to go. Brendan Devine is going to have to reach into his old bag of tricks from when he was, you know, a couple years ago, he was quite smaller than he is now. Absolutely, he's got to use that speed and agility against Hoss Hog because, as you saw right now, he just, the power factor he just definitely goes to Hoss Hog. 
What, what, what can you do when once you put a headlock on someone and they just pick you up and throw you across the ring? Yeah, wrestling ability is going to be kind of hard for Brendan Devine right now. Like I said before, speed and agility. Oop, the champion, maybe not ready to lock up. A little bit up. of mind games, too. Yeah, ooh. And a disrespectful slap and an equally disrespectful shove by Haas Hogg. Well, you know, in the words of Gorilla Monsoon, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Oh, look at that side headlock. Oh! Big meaty right hands from Haas Hogg right to the head of Brendan Devine. And Haas Hogg's showing he's no slouch in the wrestling column either. Oh, yeah, he, he's wrestling him, but he's also punching him in the head. Yeah, that, that's a little insult to energy. That's technical skill and power going on right now, Pinky Santino. Oh! And Brendan Devine just runs into a brick wall that is Haas Hogg. Yeah, Haas Hogg is not going down that easy. As we've seen before, Brendan Devine is going to have to try a lot harder than that. Going from the other side and again, failing to take the big man down. I think Devine bounced off of him a little bit. Yeah, Brennan's kind of shaking. But look at that, he's not showing any fear. Oh! oh. Haas Hawk turns Bre Divine inside out with that shoulder block. Yeah, the champ was planning to stay on his feet, but sometimes the best laid plans do not go as you want them to. You know, you know what? I, I think at this point, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there, there we go, go. that speed and agility we were talking about with a nice head scissors from Brennan Devine. Blowing up a head of steam now. Get him in the clothesline in the corner. Oh, big one leg drop kick. And, and you know what? I actually talked to Devine before this show. He actually told me if he could weather the storm with Hoss Hog in the beginning of the match, he thinks that maybe taking him to later on in the match is where he's going to find his, his groove. But I don't. Oh, look at that. Ooh, Hoss Hog spilling to the outside. The crowd firmly behind the national champion and Brennan Devine, huge tope suicida. And Brennan Devine is on fire here at the MPW Arena. Like you were saying before, Pinky, the story of this match might come down to cardio, to stamina. If Brennan Devine can just outlast weather the storm, like you said, he might have a chance to retain the national championship. Huge crossbody off the top rope, and only a two. Only a two. I can't believe that. Brennan Devine trying to end it early might have to wear it on Hoss Hog a little bit more. And the first plate of chops have been served up for the night. Oh, I think Hoss Hog is a hungry boy. Brennan decided he didn't want to try to chop again. Ducks one, ducks two, and a huge back elbow. Oh. Followed by the big double knees. One, two, only a two count. I have no idea how Brendan kicked out. His sternum absolutely crushed by the weight of Hoss Hog. Two knees right on the chest. That's over 320 pounds, Cassiano. I don't, I don't know how you can withstand that, but this crowd obviously believes in the national champion. Oh. Hoss Hog serving up some chops of his own. My God. And this is where Brendan doesn't want to be. Hoss Hog firmly in control right now, on top. As you can see, if Brendan Devine can even get to his feet at this point, that would be his best bet. Most definitely. And you know what? De Devine served up some pretty good chops, but Hoss Hog served up those Texas-sized chops. Yeah, Brendan Devine has always... Oh! Gosh, knocked his jaw out of his skull. This might be it. New champion. No, only a two count. It's incredible that he was able to kick out of that because that was a huge single leg drop kick. Yeah, Brandon Devine has got to be rattled right now. And you know what? I got to give it to Hoss Hawk because that is excellent agility for such a big man. Yeah, Hoss Hawk pulling out things that we've never seen here at the MPW Arena. Look at that, just tying him up and using those big meat hooks on the side of his head. Ooh. Yeah, Haas just grinding Brendan Devine down. Stomps and rights. One after another. And this crowd, like I said before, firmly behind Brendan Devine. But I don't know if that's going to be enough at this point. Center him up in the corner. Oh, no. Oh. 
If he keeps up those chops, I think we're happy to get a show on the back of Brendan Devine's back instead of his front. You can already see the welts forming on his front. Brendan Devine trying to get in some chops of his own. But like we said before, Hoss Hog does not have a weak chest. Well, there you go. Brendan Devine showing that he is definitely a fighting champion. Hoss Hog just absorbing those chops and serving them right back to Brendan Devine. Almost sending him out of the ring with that one. Big tilt to world DDT by Brendan Devine. Tilt to world DDT, like you said, Pinky. Brendan Devine able to work up momentum. Both men down now. This is Brendan Devine's shot. He's got to get to his feet before Hoss Hog if he wants to take control of this match. Most definitely, this is one chance he's going to have to capitalize. But the question is, is he going to be able to do it? Referee Victor Quentes now at four as the crowd starts to come alive for Brendan Devine. And Devine just really feeds off of this crowd. As long as they're behind him, he's, still, he's gonna keep fighting. Brandon Devine to his knees. Hoss Hog able to get up to his feet. No, no, Brandon Devine is fired up by this crowd. It seems like Hoss Hog is fired up by getting hit with those chops. Hoss Hog is here for one thing, and that's the gold. And Brendan Devine giving Hoss Hog all the fight he can handle. Mountain come back with lefts and rights, going for that shoulder again, but just like before, not bringing down Hoss Hog. And just like before, Brendan Devine not backing down. Look at the intensity of Brendan Devine. He is firing up. He Absolutely. ducks the line. Had a steam. He took the big block. man down. Big, big leg knee. This is it. One. Two, only a two count. Brandon Devine one second away from retaining his national championship. But he's gonna have to follow up here now. Yeah, both men having to take a breather. This has been an insane match so far, and it can go either way at this point. This is a hell of a way to start off MPW heavy rain, Cassiano. And this isn't the only thing we've got. We got a stacked card ahead. Brandon Devine going for the left on red. This is how he ends most of his matches. Is he going to be able to turn the big man over? Oh, oh big boot by Hoss Hog. Hoss Hog, oh my god. Right in the center of the ring, that's it. Hoss Hog, oh, oh my god, he kicked out. Brennan Devine kicked out at two. He is still in this match. The MPW National Championship on the line. And Brennan Devine says, not so fast. I thought after that big pump, pump handle overhead suplex that he was just going to stay down. But now he's setting up for something huge. Could it be that big lariat? This might be the one final beat of this match. Hoss Hog calling it for it to be over. And Brendan looking like some roadkill in I that think we headlight have a new right now. Here. Oh! Big thrust kick by Brendan Devine. Oh, he has him hooked. Left on. Oh, no. Spoke too fast. Oh, my God. Brendan Devine just planted straight on his face. I think that was the DND. Hoss Hog able to hook the leg. Still just a two count. I can't believe he kicked out of that. Southern California legend, the human tornado has pulled away many people with that, has won many championships with that. And somehow, someway, Brendan Devine has kicked out. Pinky, you called that the DMD. What else does Hoss Hog have to do to put down the MPW national champion? And whatever it is, he's setting them up in the top. Oh no. This is high stakes. There are two words that don't go together, and that is Hoss Hog and Top Rope, because that is where danger happens. These guys are about to hit the ceiling. Brandon Devine able to fight, fight back. Both of these competitors well over six feet. So that plus the top rope. Ooh, a headbutt from Brendan Devine. He's pulling him down on the top rope. Huge drop kick full of steam right to the face of Hoss Hog. And Hoss Hog is stuck. No, no. Brendan Devine can't do this. A huge power bomb out of the corner. One, the champion two, barely able to pin. Three. He got the win. That's he it. He got the win. All right, and here
here we go with match number two. We got tag team action here. At the MPW Arena. Yeah, and this is a simplified match from last week. Last week we had a six-man tag, which included Brenda Devine and Auntie Heidi. This week, two on two, Rebel Storm and Milo go against two members of the Void in J2 and Artorius. That, that's a little bit mysterious that we're not seeing Auntie Heidi here. Yeah, she was pinned last week by Milo, albeit via distraction, as Rebel Storm was able to get away with that J2 puppet that Heidi, Heidi always cares so closely. Most definitely, and honestly, while they're on the way out, I think I saw J2 and, and Artorias, you know, they're kind of bickering a little bit, but I've never, heard, I've never heard two words out of J2. Yeah, J2. Very off his game in the past few weeks against Rebel Storm. Ooh! Not off his game there, though. Big shoulder tackle to Rebel Storm. Rebel Storm up and over. Nice hip toss to J2! But J2 right back up to his feet. Ooh! And Rebel Storm right back down on the mat. Wait, wait, wait. did you see that? Arturis asked for the, for the tag and J2 didn't listen to him. Oh, wait, wait. There he goes there. Yeah, like we said, a little dissension in the ranks. Rebel Storm has been trying to get his best friend J2 back for weeks now. The closest he's gotten is last week. Like I said, when he stole, ooh, big headbutt to Artorius, when he stole that puppet from Auntie Heidi. Oh, look at this. And taking it back to the 80s, big time airplane spin. Round and round in this crowd, counting every rotation. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy from this, Cassiano. So am I, and if we're getting dizzy, I can't imagine how dizzy the Rebel Storm is. Barely able to find Artorius or his tag team partner, Milo, but he gets the tag. Oh, Ooh, big and a time, big Edmund. Kokeshi headbutt, and now it's Milo's turn. Oh, that big uh, Casadora. Flash! Quesador Flash, not enough to put away oh. Artorias. Ooh! Oh. Huge head scissors from Milo with the speed advantage on Artorias. And now, big monkey flip. Ooh, and a kick to the head. Milo able to keep Artorias off his feet so far in this match. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. The ladies here in MPW, they don't care if it's men, women, they'll fight anyone. Ooh. Big sets on double, double stop sets on, I should say. Only a two, now J2 in. Milo even taking down J2. Oh, nice bulldog to a drop kick. Milo on fire right now. And this crowd is definitely behind Milo. I don't think I've ever seen the void handled like that. He might be taking a little bit too, too long, a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Little too much gloating there. Artorius able to take advantage of Milo. And now throwing her straight into J2. Oh no. And the power of J2 comes into play now. And both of these guys in the void are both big, dangerous men. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this. What's this? J2 listening to the Rebel Storm and dropping Milo. I, I can't believe that. Artorias kind of directing traffic here now. Why did J2 attack her? Oh! Well, Artorias doesn't have that problem when he hit her with that big power slam. Yeah, Artorias able to take control real quickly, but J2 acting kind of different in this match. Listening to Rebel Storm, arguing with Artorias, hell, he's even wearing brighter colors than we've seen in the past few weeks. He, he, that is a lighter shade of blue. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if my eyes were playing tricks on me or not. This crowd trying to get behind Milo, but Artorias making sure she doesn't get the chance. Most definitely, and this crowd is completely insane. And, and if you want to join this crowd, please join us. 19801 North Off Place in Chatsworth, California, right above Boulder Dash Gym, the only show every Friday night here in Southern California. That's right, and every Friday night, putting out bangers just like this one you're seeing here tonight at Heavy Rain. J2, Milo above his head. Big oh. Gorilla Press Slam onto Milo, and J2, well over six feet. 
raising her up to well over seven feet. Yeah, that's a long fall for a small stature of Milo. Milo being the smallest competitor in this match. Like I said, speed and agility are only so much when you can't build up that momentum. Oh no! Milo fighting out of the blue thunder bomb. Knocks Arturius off the corner. Fires up at J2. Big forearm shots. We've seen this from Milo in the past. Milo Reaches taking out. advantage now. She needs Can't to get to Rebel Storm her partner. Oh. Artorias making sure Rebel Storm isn't there in the corner for Milo. But look at that. As soon as as soon as soon Rebel Storm dropped, it was like a switch for J2. He no longer cared. And he rammed Milo right into that corner. Yeah, like we've been saying this whole time, Rebel Storm might be the kryptonite that we've been looking for for J2. Out of sight, out of mind, but as soon as Rebel Storm's back in the picture, J2 starts acting a little bit weird, just like we're seeing here right now. Artorius. It, it, it seems like without Anti hiding here, he's having the trouble keeping control. Wait, 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 what is this? Milo! Oh. Neckbreaker to J2, which caused Artorias to take a DET. Milo's right there in her corner. She needs to tag Rebel Storm, and there it is, the Thunder Wonder. Jumping in, had a fire, shoulder tackle to Artorius. Oh, big boot to J2, knocks him outside. Big hammerage, no, he ducks the line. Lifts him up, drops a hole right into the ropes. Rebel Storm comes off the ropes. Ooh. Big time cannonball stands on to Artorias. This is the momentum we were talking about. This is what this team needed. Flipping neck breaker. This might be it. Artorias is down. Only a two count. How did he kick out of that Casiano? Only a two count. J2 was not there to save his partner. Artorias just barely making it out. J2 now the first one back on the apron as Rebel Storm pumping up the crowd, getting to him. A big time clap of the ears, throwing off the equilibrium. Oh, going for that thunderstruck that we've seen before. Oh! Big spinebuster from Artorias. Victory one. And Milo breaks it up for her team. Milo helping out her team. J2 though, still on the apron. He's just watching. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Artorias might be fighting a two-on-one handicap match right now. And J2 is just completely lost right there in the corner, not reacting to any of this. Now. Artorias barking orders at J2, his fellow member in the void, telling him to finish it. But can he finish it off against the Thunder Wonder? This is the question we've had all week. Look at this crowd asking J2 to wake up from the spell. This is insane, Pinky. I've never seen this before. Not only the Rebel Storm getting into J2, now the crowd getting to J2. And look at this. Oh no. J2 might not have woken up, but oh. Rebel Storm is gonna go good night. Oh. J2 throwing him off at one. He didn't throw him off, he let him go. Why did he let him go? That wasn't even a kick out. J2 with that big J2 Sapphire bomb. Uh, and uh, now conflicted again. I'm 100% certain if he would have held him down, this match would have been over. That would have been it. That was a three count. But J2 just standing in the corner now. Tagged Artorias. Wait, where? what is this? He steps off the apron. J2 sitting on the corner. Rebel with the roll up. Two. Only two. Almost had him there. Oh, big boot to the face of the Rebel Storm. I think Artorias has got some paint on the bottom of his shoe after that. And big Artorias going all the way to the top. Artorias, that's a tall man on the top oh. rope coming down with his knee full force on Rebel One, Storm's face. Two, three. Milo not able to make it in time. Artorias essentially wins a two-on-one match. And Artorias wins this, but the story is J2 has been the same with the same lost reflection on his face. Just looking up into the distance.
looking off into the void, as they are to say. You're always our hero. <sighs> and I love you guys too. <laughs> All my storm chasers who've been watching since the beginning, my journey here in the MPW arena, <laughs> you know that when I get knocked down, I come right back up. <laughs> different this week, because although I may be in some of the most physical pain of my life right now, I'm definitely in the most emotional pain. Because like I said, weeks ago, week after week after week, I will try and try and fail and try until I succeed in bringing back my friend J2 from the dark clutches of the void and Auntie Heidi. Because you know why? Because oh, MPW needs a hero! Yeah! I am a hero! Yeah! So you know what? So enough messing around. I know just what you want, okay? You want this doll. Everybody here knows I have it. They want me to break it, I know they do, but I'm not sure. I'm scared. If I break this, do I break J2? I'm not too sure, but I know one thing is that you want this, Auntie Heidi. <sighs> and you need this, J2. So next week, no teams, no managers, nothing. You, me, the ropes, the ring, the MPW fans. Whoa. One on one. For your soul, J2. The challenge is made, Auntie Heidi. I hope you're listening in whatever dark void you like to call home. Because I'm ready. I'll be here next week. Will you? Yeah. And the Thunder Runner has laid down the gauntlet. Big words from the Rebel Storm. At BW Arena, you heard it out there first. Okay, next week I'm getting my rematch against J2. And I've got... A little bit of help. Oh, oh, a contingency plan, a plan B, in case it doesn't work. Now maybe I misspoke a little bit, maybe it wasn't clear out there in front of everyone. Okay, next week, I am getting J2 back from the void. I'm bringing his soul back from those depths. And if not, then the void can have mine. That's right, I'm laying it out there, okay? Next week is a soul versus soul match. One of us is not walking out the same person as the same guy who walked in. That makes sense because I said so. So J2, Auntie Heidi, you want this back? You gotta come get it and bring J2 while you're at it. match three a big time match we have Jordan Cruz going one-on-one -on -one with the goddamn man Tyler Bateman Pinky this is a main event anywhere in the country and you're getting it for the first time right here tonight at the Millennium Pro Wrestling Arena and the third man in the ring Victor Quinta is going ahead and making sure you know that this is gonna be a fair match I have a hard time right now checking Tyler Bateman Checking those boots. What is that? Wait, wait, what? Hey, get out of here! Wait, what is that? Tyler Bateman with a weapon. He pulled out a shield. In his boots. My God. Victor Quintez is going to have to check Bateman very well to make sure this match goes off with any hiccups. Hey, hey look at that, Bateman. Just said he crossed his heart. Man, he doesn't have any other weapons on him. Bateman crossing his heart at us. But Pinky, I just want to make sure you know these are two of the most dangerous men to ever enter an MPW ring. This crowd answering, absolutely answering the call of Tyler Bateman, a lockup, and Bateman immediately tying up Jordan Cruz in the ropes. Oh! Disrespectful slap met with a smile from Tyler Bateman. And you know what? Not a lot of people are able to go ahead and force Jordan Cruz to the ropes. But Tyler Bateman using that, that leverage, I think it's the height that helped him do that. 
Absolutely, Ring of Honor, New Japan strong. Bateman's resume is miles longer than Jordan Cruz's, but that's part of the problem. Ooh. Ooh. He just slapped the taste out of his mouth. Hey, just returning it, an eye for an eye. Like I was saying, that's part of the problem that Jordan Cruz has with Tyler Bateman. Double Greco-Roman lock. This guy's jockey for position. Absolutely, both men testing the strength of the other right now. Jordan Cruz using his knee, getting a little resourceful against the goddamn man right now. Oh my god, a little bit of digit manipulation by Tyler Bateman. Oh, just bending those fingers. Oh, oh. oh that looks not comfortable for Jordan Cruz. Not comfortable? I, I think his finger touched the back of his hand. Yeah, and many people put down Bate, Bateman as a striker, but the technical wrestling ability of Bateman is unmatched by most people in the region. But, but don't let Jordan Cruz hear you say that because he has technical ability coming out the wazoo. That's right. Could be a champion anywhere he goes. Jordan Cruz has had a change. Oh, look at that. I was going to say a change of attitude and better show, not tell. Tyler Bateman not very shaken by it, though. Side headlock by Jordan Cruz. Bateman throws him up. Jordan Cruz comes in and hits a brick wall. That's right, meeting him in the middle. Bateman, ooh! I think we're still in a pandemic. Bateman spitting on his hand to meet Jordan Cruz. Oh, sends him right out of the ring. I might have thrown Bateman off a little bit. No, but the question is, could this be Tyler Bateman playing a little bit of mind games with Jordan Cruz, letting him get a little more confident than he should be? Yeah, you can see Bateman. Ooh. The disrespect from Jordan Cruz oh going God. on right now. Ooh. He just ate the snot. He did eat the snot. Tyler Bateman, not, not known to be the most hygienic human. And look at exactly what I'm telling you, those mind games that Tyler Bateman is playing. Yeah, Tyler Bateman making Jordan Cruz come to him. Ooh, and taking him down with a shoulder tackle of his own. Tyler Bateman setting out a trap, and you know what? Sorry to say, Jordan Cruz, he, he took the line. Fell right into it, and this is where Bateman is most dangerous. He is methodical, he is a striker, and he will pick you apart bit by bit in body parts that you didn't even know you had. Most definitely, and you know, it's, people, like you said, oh, he was chopped. And people talk about Tyler Bateman as a striker, but I think his most dangerous weapon is that mind, the mind that he has for the business. Absolutely, like you said, Jordan Cruz fell for those mind games. Hook, line, and sinker. Ooh, but Jordan Cruz deciding power might be the deciding factor in this match. Big headbutt. Now choking Bateman in the corner. We've seen multiple times the disrespect Jordan Cruz has had for Bateman in this match. Jordan Cruz thinks Bateman has eaten for long oh, enough. That? Ooh, faking him out. And a big chop. This crowd appreciating the wrestling mind of Tyler Bateman. Tyler Bateman staying one step ahead of Jordan Cruz. Absolutely. And like I was saying, Jordan Cruz thinks Tyler Bateman has eaten for long enough. All the years in this business, Jordan Cruz has been in this business for a hot second and has done so much, but it is not oh. enough for him. He is a starving dog. Jordan Cruz tried to set up the same trap that Tyler Bateman just did. But Two. Bateman was able to read it. This is oh, he wasn't able to Three. miss it that time. Yeah. Oh. oh no! And the tip of that elbow right into the corner here. Jordan Cruz has until a five count. Resorting to these tactics and taking out the shoulder of Tyler Bateman. This might be a really smart move on the part of Jordan Cruz, sending him into the guardrail. Jordan Cruz is like a shark in the ocean that smells of blood. He, he knows that Bateman's arm is hurt, and he's gonna go for it. Yeah, he found a point of weakness now on Bateman. And we've seen, ooh, Bateman not giving up without a fight though. Huge chops. Oh no. Gonna send him, nope, Jordan Cruz oh. sending that shoulder again into the post. And I've said it in the past, oh. 
I've said it in the past, you got to take it to point that these corners here, these posts here, they're square. They're not like other companies. These have those jagged edges. They're not round. Yeah, that bone going straight into the point of that that corner. That's a good point, Pinky. But look at it in the ring now. I want to point out this match has been anything but high energy. It's been methodical on both sides. These precisionists in the ring are trying to take each other apart bit by bit, but the fight in either one will not let them stay down. Look at that Bateman allowing himself to get hit. Oh! My God, did you hear that? That was the loudest strike we've heard tonight, and this crowd showing appreciation for the goddamn man. I think Bateman might have hurt himself on that one. I think he might have, Jordan Cruz might have, might have lost a tooth. Jordan Cruz having the wherewithal, though, to pull Bateman into the ropes and going right back to that arm, that shoulder. What's he got now? Oh, big knee. You know what, Jordan Cruz, Cruz is no slouch when it comes to ring IQ. He knows he's not going to want to trade with Bateman, so he's going to go directly back for that arm. Absolutely, and I want to point out, one of the things that you could just kind of get used to during this job of commentary is knowing the signs of the end of the match, knowing what signature moves each wrestler has in there. Jordan Cruz has not been winning with one move. He's been winning with multiple moves by referee stoppage any way he can. Jordan Cruz, towards the end of the match like this, becomes a rabid dog in that ring. Most definitely. And you know what? Jordan Cruz is, is, doesn't just have one signature move, like you said. The, the man is a Swiss Army knife. Every time you think this, this man is going to go to one thing, he brings out something new. Ooh, Bateman striking back. Trying to get out of this hole that Jordan Cruz has him in. Look at that attacking the knee. Bringing the man down and, and then going straight for the chin for that knockout blow. That's right. And I think it's important to point out if Jordan Cruz wants to win this match, I don't think, ooh, I don't think he can make this a strike exchange. Because Bateman, the more seasoned veteran, indefinitely that department. Jordan Cruz looking like he's picking apart the arm, and that might be his game plan for this. That might be what he has to do, because if you take away the arm, you take away the striking ability of Tyler Bateman. And, and if you take that away, there's no death from above elbow. He, he takes away that tool that Tyler Bateman has put away many competitors with. Absolutely. The death from above, like you said, the god killer. The tools in Tyler Bateman's bag definitely get shortened down to a point when you take away the strength in that arm. Huge chop by Jordan Cruz. Oh my God. Oh, Bateman saying that chop. He's asking, thank you, sir. May I have another? Ooh, and Jordan Cruz, Cruz will abide. Oh my God, that huge fish hook. Bateman making sure Jordan Cruz smiles during this match. Oh, and taking him down by the mouth. You don't want to get into dirt, dirty tactics with Tyler Bateman because he'll go there. Absolutely. Like we've said many times, Tyler Bateman been around the block in this industry. He's seen every trick in the book. You've got to imagine he's seen people like Jordan Cruz come and go over and over again through the years. Most definitely. I personally have been in there with Tyler Bateman, and I'm telling you, it's no picnic. And every time he hits you with one of those forms, oh. It feels like he's, he's just rattling your whole brain. Yeah, Jordan Cruz not going to be laying out on the grass anytime soon in this match. Ooh, headbutt to the midsection of Tyler Bateman. He's trying to get, ooh, nice European uppercut. He's trying to get some sort of offense going right now. Oh, and Tyler Bateman using the reach to go ahead and hit that strike. Absolutely explosive. Oh, no, here we go. Oh. Another huge forearm shot by Tyler Bateman. Bateman puts so much strength into every oh. strike he does. Over and over again. Jordan Cruz trying to match him. Maybe doing so there, sending Tyler Bateman outside the ring. And, and you gotta give it to Jordan Cruz. Not too many people can go toe to toe with Tyler Bateman, but he's pulling it off here. And Jordan Cruz. Getting maybe a little overzealous, chasing Bateman to the outside again. This got him in trouble last time, but it seems to be going well as Jordan Cruz is firmly in control. 
Oh! Huge shot to the jaw! Another shot, and Bateman looks dazed. Austin's losing the two. Get back inside. And I gotta say, for, for two guys that are such great and great practitioners, this, this match is bowling too ugly. Absolutely. Both men gasping for air. Bateman a little bit more right now as he's on the receiving end of this half camel clutch. Oh no. And Tyler Bateman getting that digit manipulation one more time, bending those fingers back. Yeah, going for those fingers right again and a big club to the back from Jordan Cruz. Oh, take that too. Oh, he answers right back with a big form. Jordan Cruz ducks. Big time drop kick. Big drop kick. Oh, going for the kick. Jordan Cruz. Pull him down for the schoolboy. Baby goes for the stop. Big form by Cruz. Second one. European uppercut. Oh, big right hand by Tyler Bateman. Listen to that crowd, Pinky Santino. I can't argue with what's up, Cassiano. Oh, my God. Big time clothesline right off of the ropes. And with that right, this match is awesome. Yeah, each strike, each hold with such precision. Oh. And now about... Oh, no. Bateman I, I know calling to the dogs in the crowd. Yeah. Oh! That might be it for Jordan Cruz. That knee straight to the face. Oh, my God. He kicked out. Only a two count. And he hit him with that knee right on the temple. A lesser man would have been knocked out. Somehow, some way, Jordan Cruz was able to kick out of that. Yeah, that had to be just on instinct from Jordan Cruz right there. Jordan Cruz definitely wants this win. Two. Jordan Cruz, Jordan Cruz holding his arm right now. Bateman's can't be much worse for wear. Possibly taking off that, that elbow pad to relieve some of the pressure. Oh! I don't know how much he's going to be relieved off of that. Oh, big Fujiwara armbar. I've seen Jordan Cruz break some elbows and put some people away with this. Absolutely, and with how much punishment Bateman's arm has taken in this match, you gotta wonder if he can last through this. <laughs> the veteran Tyler Bateman able to get to the ropes. Using those long limbs to go ahead and reach the, the ropes. Absolutely, Jordan Cruz not letting go right away though. Kind of cockily thrusting in the air. Well, not only that, I think he was he was trying to get as much uh, of that submission that he could before the ref broke it up. Victor Quintas was able to go ahead and get him off. He, he's the, and I gotta give it to Victor Quintas, he's been doing a hell of a job calling this match tonight. Yeah, doing an amazing job keeping these two bohemians in check, in the ring. Ooh. Oh! Big half and half suplex from Jordan Cruz! Bateman now on his knees, staggering. Here he goes to the back of the head. We've seen Jordan put people away with this. Will Bateman stay down for a three count? One, two. Oh, and he gets the ropes again. Once again, the veteran Tyler Bateman getting to the ropes. I, I'm not sure he would have kicked out of that one. That was a huge time shot by Jordan Cruz. Absolutely not. Like we said with Cruz. Oh, did you hear that? Oh. Jordan Cruz barking to the crowd. He's mocking Tyler Bateman with, with the chant that, that Tyler Bateman usually uses with, with this crowd. Absolutely. He just said, me, not you, all night. He's been saying, this is his house. MPW is his house. Ooh, driving his head into the corner right now. Oh my God, I think that just woke Tyler Bateman up. Bateman able to fight out. Jordan Cruz holding on to the side headlock. Fighting right for hands. dear life. Oh, he's got that sleeper hold in. Once again, he's put away people like this before, too. Bateman. Oh, big McVader bomb from Tyler Bateman. Dropping Jordan Cruz right on the top of his head. And the crowd realizing. And I don't think Jordan Cruz knows where he is. Absolutely not. Oh. 
Jordan Drew's able to float under. Oh, look at that. I was wrong. I oh. blue and possum. Charlie Bateman hanging Jordan Drew's up. Jesus. Big time Lariat. Two. Only a two count. Oh my God, I can't believe he kicked out. We talked about how Jordan Cruz can end this match from anywhere in the ring at any moment. That goes double for Tyler Bateman. Exploding out with a big lariat and almost getting the three count there on Jordan Cruz. One, this is awesome. And listen to this crowd. I can't argue with them, Casiano. Yeah, for the second time, the crowd appreciating this match with a this is awesome chance. And once again, if you're not here, you're missing something. Join, join us every week, 19901 North Hall Place, Chatsworth, California, right above Boulder Dash Gym, Millennium Pro Wrestling, every Friday night. And if you can't join us here, join us online at YouTube.com, Millennium Pro Wrestling. That's right. For the first time ever, right here, Jordan Cruz versus Tyler Bateman, barely, barely beating the 10 count, making it to their knees. And Bateman with slaps, Jordan returning the favor, back and forth. Ooh, shots to the jaw now. You guys are insane. Oh, huge forms by Jordan Cruz. Ooh. Jordan Cruz, one after another, staggering the goddamn man. But Bateman able to put him down just as easily. It almost seems like for every three shots Jordan takes, Bateman just needs one. Oh my oh god, my that's god. the god killer! The god killer! Jordan one, Cruz is down! Two. This might be it! And it's over! Tyler Bateman withstanding the modern day Spartan for the win! This is a good hell of a match, I gotta give it to both of these men! Oh, you too, hey! Brendan, Tyler, no. Not tonight, no, we are not giving them that, no. Nah, you both just had intense matches, but you know what? Shut up, Brian. I like, shut your mouth, Bozo. Listen, you two, I like this. How about in two weeks, Brandon Devine defends his national championship against Tyler Bateman. Whoa! That is some big news. Huge match from the perfect GM, Brian Carter. Two weeks. Brennan Devine versus Tyler Bateman for the national championship. Yes. I just went to war with the goddamn man. And he is the goddamn man. I have to admit, even I might have underestimated him. He brought it. Every hit, every blow, every strike. It was exactly what I thought it would be and more. Uh, I didn't win. I didn't get the job done. I have to find a way to be okay with that. This isn't about that. Brendan Devine. Better or worse, this moment belonged to me. It was mine, not yours. And you took that from me. So enjoy it while you can, because pretty soon, I will come back, and I'm gonna collect on it all. And here we go, big time semi-main event. We have Duke Benedict versus Dustin Daniels. And once again, this is Pinky Santino, joined now by the Hell Kid, Johnny Lord. Thank you, Pink. It's good to be back here at the Millennium Wrestling Academy. Uh, Millennium Pro Wrestling is the best wrestling on the West Coast, and we're going to see a great match here tonight between Dustin Daniels and the American Grizzly, Duke Bennett. Most, most definitely, and Duke Bennett, he, he came out trying to prove a point last week, took out both, both members of Full Send. 
Yes, that was an incredible match last week between Dustin Daniels and his former tag team partner, Busio. Whoa, it was until, until Duke Bennett came out and ruined it. He clobbered both of those guys, but this should be a great match here. We have a fresh Dustin Daniels. He didn't just finish a long match, and he can lock up and face off in a fair match against Duke Bennett. Oh, look at that! Dustin Daniels coming in quickly with a big drop kick. Oh! Bennett just tosses him to the ropes. Look at Dustin Daniels' great speed and agility staying away from the big man. And this is exactly what Dustin Daniels is going to have to do against the larger man, Duke Bennett. Duke Bennett's outside now trying to regroup already. Slowly, carefully putting together a strategy to take against the young man from Full Send. Both these wrestlers come from Millennium Wrestling Academy, but this is probably the first time they've ever matched up one-on-one. -on -one. Look at this. Well, most definitely, the, the, both of these guys are from different classes. Uh, Dustin Daniels, we've seen him the last couple of weeks, well, months, years, because he's from the most recent class. Good better, uh, uh, he, he's one of our veterans here at Millennium Pro Wrestling. He's been away from the business for, for quite some time, but now he's coming back. And what a comeback he's making as he comes in here and attacks the fan favorites and really just puts a brutal beating on him. Dustin Daniels with that low bridge. Oh! Big suicide dive, but he gets caught! Look at the power and strength of Duke Bennett, and he's got him up. Oh! Oh my god! Duke Bennett just powerbombed Dustin Daniels right here on the floor. That is as brutal a move as you can do. And, and you know what? Uh, the, the ring is not soft. I'm not going to say that the ring is soft. It's, it's wood, some padding, but there is no give when you take a powerbomb on the floor. This match is probably over already. I can't see anybody getting up from a powerbomb on the floor. Do better with that cocky cut. If you want to hook the leg, really went for that cover, this match would be over. But this is just sick. I can't believe Duke Bennett is doing this. Another stiff oh. kick right there to the chest of Dustin Daniels. This is straight brutality. Oh, oh my God, huge bill toss. Look, if Duke, if Duke Bennett wants to put the kid away, put the kid away. I don't want to put but him away. He, he doesn't need to be doing this. This kid has a long career ahead of him. But Bennett's trying to cut it short. Whoa, did he just chop him over the top rope? He flew over the top rope. From the impact of the chop. Oh my God! Oh. Right in our laps here. I'll tell you what, Duke Bennett has a mean streak a mile long, and he's showing it out tonight. Lord, at some point, I think the referee is going to have to step in, and he might have to stop this match himself. Well, there's no doubt that Daniels is experiencing a lot of punishment. I, I don't think Dan Daniels is going to quit on his own. Someone might have to come out and make that decision for him. Oh, another big deal. Just tossing him around like a rag doll. Oh, my God. And you did he it. just slap the big man? He did. I got to give it to the heart and fire of Dustin Daniels. Oh, yeah. But, he might have heart, but he might not have much of a brain. That was not a smart move to try to piss off Duke Bennett. Back inside the ring. Let's go. What? Now Bennett is stalking Daniels on the outside, looking to do more brutal damage, taking him into the crowd, working on him. And, and you know what? This crowd is, is like, they're, they're, they're quiet. They're, it's, it's, a, it's getting uncomfortable. They're feeling the pain of Dustin Daniels going through this emotional roller coaster with him while his body gets beaten by the larger man. He just tossed him back in there again like a rag doll. He's just toying with him. He's like a predator just toying with his prey. Someone tell this grizzly bear to stop playing with his food. It, and Daniels kicks out. Uh, I, I gotta be honest, I, I kinda wish he, he would have just stayed down. 
I kind of feel like he could have pinned him there if he really wanted to. Another lackadaisical cover. Oh my god, he lands on his feet. He ducks a big line. Falls on top. Oh! Big corner by Dustin Daniels. Somehow he found some life in this match. Is he gonna go for the cover? One! Only a one count! Only one count. Duke Bennett was not gonna be put down by the Dustin Cutter. Dustin Daniels getting this crowd behind him. This crowd is coming alive for, the, for Dustin Daniels. They're in there with him. The big man drilling. Daniels goes to the top. Goes for the cutter again. Oh, he went oh, no. for the cutter again and he got caught. And now he's in the full Nelson. Oh! oh! I know what that is. Doug Bennett hits him with grizzly death. What? One, two, three. And he gets oh. the win. Grizzly Reverse death. DDT counts called the end grizzly death. For Dustin Daniels. What a beast this Duke Bennett is. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Introducing the challenger. From Antelope Valley, all time, weighing 198 pounds. Wouldn't that talk, yeah? He apparently is Southern yeah. California's wrestler of the year. Yeah. 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 And this is it, folks. We are here for the main event. The MPW champion, Danny Devine, defending against the number one contender, Ray Rosas. This is as exciting as it gets here. Millennium Pro Wrestling. Most definitely. And this is a hell of a main event for MPW Presents Heavy Rain. It, it's been a hell of a show so far. The huge match between Jordan Cruz and Tyler Bateman. Justin Daniels just gave his heart out. So we opened the Hoss Hog and Brittany Devine, and now we have a huge time main event. Ray Rosas versus Danny Devine. Yeah, this is fantastic. I've seen these men wrestle several times. This is the first time I've seen Danny Devine defend the title against Ray Rosas. This ought to be a great match. Most definitely, and since Danny Devine has won that title, he's just had a completely change of attitude. The Danny Devine I remember was very much a good guy who represented his flock and and was always trying to uh, do the right thing. But now it looks like maybe he's cut a few corners and now he's sitting at the top with the MPW Championship. And big side headlock by Ray Rosas to start off the match. And if I pull, pull, pull him against the ropes, looking for a uh, rope break. Nice Scarlet break. down in the mantles. Nice clean break and a good referee here. This referee Scarlett, good job. You're on my time, Russ. I'm not on your time. Look at this. Danny Devine saying that the referee is on his time. And, and you know what? I don't think Danny Devine cares about getting counted out because if he gets counted out, he keeps the title. Look at the arrogance of the MPW champion. Can you believe this? The, the gall on this guy. Most definitely has that championship advantage. And he's, and he's looking to use it. Ray Rose is low behind. Drops him down. Rolled over into a arm breaker. Twisting on the wrist lock. Just bedding it over his shoulder. Wrenches it. Drags him down. And then the fight once again rolls out of the ring. He's the champ. He knows how to butter his bread. He knows where to go. 
what to do. He's an expert in this ring. You don't get to be the MPW champion by not knowing what you're doing. But he, you do be, you gotta be the MPW champion by interrupting a match and then coming in. Because that's exactly how he won the title. And look at that, Ray Rosas brings Danny Devine back in the ring the hard way. And he's unloading with some chops and some strikes. And he whoops him off to the corner. Big time backbreaker by Ray Rosas. Great backbreaker. Fantastic move by Ray Rosas. He and rolls of course, him over. One. Only a two count by Ray Rosas. Oh. It Ooh. sends him into the corner with authority. I think the, the whole ring moved with that one. And Devine went straight to the mat. He could be feeling the effects of that. He looks like he's hurt for sure. A big stomp. Stomp right to the midsection. And, and it looks like he's trying to go ahead and turn Devine over. Oh! Big Sorry, elbow drop right to the swell of the back. One, two. Only a one count by Scarlett Donovan. You see this, the backbreaker, and now the stomp on the back and the knee to the back. He's working on Danny Devine's lower back. There's another hammer thrust to the back. Ray Roses has a strategy here tonight. Most definitely, and that is why they call him the coach here in the Lenny Paul Wrestling. He knows exactly what he's doing. He was not voted the Southern California Wrestler of the Year for no reason. Oh! Big time drop kick. And, and you know what? One of those hit him right in the back, but the other one hit him right in the back of the head. And a big time chin lock with that knee right in the center of Dan Devine's back. Ray has the advantage. He's working him, but I believe that the champ probably knows exactly what he's doing. I'm sorry, Danny. I'm sorry that I failed you. Out this way. You hear that? Ray Rose is apologizing because once again, this is trainer versus student. People tend to forget that because uh, uh, Danny Devine has him straight from the clock a little bit. But Ray Rose has taught him everything he knows. Big time chop by Ray Rosa. I can tell you for sure, Danny Devine has had more than one teacher. This is amazing, though, for, for me and you, Pink, because you have known Ray Rosa since he began wrestling. I've known Danny Devine since he began wrestling. Both of these men were the best in the class, and now here they are in 2022 competing for the MPW Championship. Oh, oh and a nice big roll rolling. through suplex. Wow. One. <laughs> Only a one count by Danny Devine. I got to give it to him. That was one hell of a suplex there. That was a pretty suplex. I have not seen that move before. Very innovative by Danny Devine, by the champion. One of, one of Danny Devine's vintage maneuvers that he pulls out week after week here at the MPW Arena. But one thing that is new to his arsenal is hanging his opponent out to dry and raking his face. You don't, you never saw that before from Danny Devine. Now they're trading right hands, and it looks like Ray Roses drops to his knee. Shoot off by Danny Devine. Big clothesline. Fantastic. Goes for the cover. One. One and a half, maybe two right there. And then he goes directly into that chin lock. I got to give it to Danny Devine. Smart wrestling right there. Making sure to capitalize if he couldn't make the cover. Just wearing Ray Roses down. He's definitely staying on top of his opponent. He's not wasting any time, movement, or energy. We're sitting right here until he taps out. Look at that. He's saying that. He says no. See, this is definitely a different attitude from Danny Devine. He's saying he's just going to keep him down there until he taps out. He doesn't care about being excited for this audience. He's not concerning himself with that. This is awesome. Danny Devine's going to beat him with a chin lock. Huge club to the back by Dan Devine. Oh, we're looking at another suplex. I think Ray Rose has blocked it. Huge sure right did. hand. Sends him off to the corner. Nice up and up over by Danny Devine. Big shot. He blocks it. Another block. Oh. Ray Rose has sent him out to the corner. Up and over. Oh. Ray Rose has blocked the cutter attempt on the apron. Big shot to the back of the head. Big, big blow. 
What, what do we got here? No. Oh! oh nice reversal on a high knee by Danny Devine. And he closes the island jump right in. Big super kick by Ray Rosas to the outside. Oh, and the champ is staggered. The champion is in trouble. His eyes have turned glassy. Oh, oh he may have been playing big, a little bit of possum there. Big European uppercut by Danny Devine as Ray Rosas cut him out of the ropes. Oh! oh! The big stomp right there on the apron of the ring. I think Divine was waiting for that one. That's a championship move right there. And he got him right on the edge of the apron. Not only is it the hardest part of the ring, he got him right on the corner, right on the edge, right on the jagged metal part of that, the ring, right on the, the, the top of his eyebrow. Unforgiving for sure, Pink. Danny Divine hit him with a, a big move. That could be the deciding factor that determines which way this match goes. I think Ray Ross is out. Yeah, Danny Devine can't even pull him up off the floor. Look at this. Just dragging him in back into the ring. I, I think that at this point, this is just insult to injury. I think if Danny Devine would have just rolled it, he would have got the 10. He's going to pin him. Oh my God, he kicked out. Somehow, someway, Ray only Rosas a two count. kicks only out. Only a two count for Danny Devine. Look at, the look at Danny Devine's face. He is shocked. And that goes for everyone here at the MPW Arena. The frustration on the face of the MPW champion. The look on his face tells it all. Big stop to right into the forehead. Right, right to the part that hit the, that apron of Ray Rosas. Now look at the viciousness coming from the champion. Danny Devine looks determined to hold on to his title and to put away his old friend and teacher, Ray Rosas. And look, listen to this. Danny Devine taking time to, to do a little bit of jaw jacking with this, with this crowd here who are not happy with him. Big forearm to the lower back. This could be it. Ray Rosas was able to kick out, but I'm telling you, Ray Rosas looks to be feeling the effects of this brutal attack from the champion. Almost definitely, John Lawrence. Nobody wants to see you anymore. Huh? And I, I think this crowd begs to differ with what Danny Devine just said, that nobody, that nobody wants to see him anymore. I'm pretty sure the fans love Ray Rosas. That's why they voted him Wrestler of the Year in Southern California. And he has him hooked here. Ray Rosas drops a knee, not letting him go ahead and pull that suplex over. He blocks it again. The champ is trying to power him over anyways. Laying some clubbing blows across the back. He's going to suplex Ray Rosas. He is determined. It is going to happen. Ray Rosas blocks it again. He gets him a little farther. Oh, Ray Rosas on, goes to suplex himself. These guys are like a team totter going back and forth. Who's going to get it? Will it be Devon Rosas? Big shot. Goes under, big shot back by Divine. Then goes under, big shot back by Rosas. He hooks him. Big shot back by Divine. They go back and forth. Who's gonna get it? Big, big forward shot by Ray Rosas. Back and forth action, counter after counter after counter. And Both of these men determined they want to win. Oh, and he and rolls, rolls through, through again. suplex again. But Ray oh. Rosas gets the, the suplex this time, and this crowd is losing their minds. They are damn right, this is wrestling! What a hell of a reversal right there on that roll through suplex by Ray Rosas. He put that into a brain buster, I think, and it may have put Danny Devine down for the count. Come on, champ, get up, buddy. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're not here tonight, you're missing out. Please join us every Friday night, 1981 Nordhoff Place. Chatsworth, California, 91311, right above the Bullet Dash Gym. Every Friday night, Millennium Pro Wrestling, bringing you the best wrestling here in Southern California. And you, if you can't join us live, join us every week, Millennium Pro Wrestling on YouTube.com. No question, Pink. This is definitely the best wrestling going on in California today. And two of the best wrestlers in the entire country. Ray Rosas has wrestled all over the world. Danny Devine is the MPW champion. This is anyone's match. It could go either way. 
big running clothesline by Ray Rosas. One, two, only a two count. And that one was as close as it gets. The champ just barely able to hold on to the title after that. And both these men down. Referee Scarlett Donovan going ahead and checking on both of these competitors that once again are putting on a hell of a match here tonight. This is a main event anywhere in Southern California or anywhere in the world. Absolutely, you've got Ray Roses, Southern California Wrestler of the Year, Danny Devine, MPW Champion, and these guys are going back and forth, matching each other move for move, blow for blow. And look at this, Ray looks to be setting him up for some kind of a pile driver. I think he, was, he might have been going for that cradle backbreaker that we've been, seen him pull out in the last couple of weeks. But big slingshot, Ray Roses jumps up to the ropes. Oh, big my. time German suplex off the second row. Oh. Danny Devine catches him with that huge sidekick right to the center of the head. Only a two count. Danny Devine just hit Ray Roses with a second row German suplex. Followed it up with a running kick to the back of the head and still was only able to hold Ray Roses down for two. What will it take to put Ray Roses away? The man is determined tonight. He is coming here tonight with one thing in mind, and that is championship gold. And he is putting it all on the line here, folks, to try to take that title away from Danny Devine. And listen to this crowd getting behind Ray Rosas, willing him to fight and get to his feet. Normally, they'd be cheering for both of these men, but Danny Devine, since he's at his team's heart, they don't cheer for him anymore, but I don't think he cares. That's right. Danny DeMine understands that you might have to change your heart a little bit if you want to be the champ. Oh, he misses that running stomp. Big time blue thunder by my right Rosas. He rolls him through. He's looking up. Cradle oh. backbreaker by Ray Rosas. One, two, only a two count. What a kick out. That was two and a half right there. Most two and three quarters. And that is some big time innovative offense by Ray Rosas with that backbreaker. You call that the cradle backbreaker? I've never seen that before. Brutal move. And you can tell the champ is reeling. But the challenger, he, he can't he can't follow up. These guys have, have given it everything they have. Fans are trying to get behind Ray Rosas right now, but both men definitely exhausted from this brutal match. And these fans just willing Ray Rosas back to his feet. Oh, Ray Rosas getting excited. Oh, and he gets him up. Up in the rack. Could possibly set up for Adios Amigo, but he hooks him up. Goes, Ray Rosas goes behind, down to the corner. Oh, the oh. Danny Devine ducks back under, right Ray there. Rosas gets that right in. Fantastic, Cole Nelson into a face buster. Oh, nice pile driver. That move has been banned in 39 states. What an incredible move by the champ. And he's just pulling him away from the ropes. I gotta give it to Danny Devine, making sure he doesn't get that rope break. One, two, only a two count. <laughs> Creative cover there by the champ. He is doing everything he can to try to win this match. And both of these competitors just spent, and I can't blame them, Johnny Lords. No, the way that they've been beating on each other, I can't believe either of them are even conscious right now. This is one hell of a wrestling match. This is what you get at Millennium Pro Wrestling, especially when you're talking about championship matches. Both of these men fighting their asses off and beating the hell out of each other. And this crowd still behind the challenger, Ray Rosas. But Dan and Devine looks like to be getting to his feet first. Scarlett Donovan checking out both these competitors, making sure that can continue. Danny's calling for something, but he's back oh, in the rack. Oh, Ray And he hits it with Adios Amigos. Adios Amigos? That was a, a torture rack into a neck breaker. And Danny Devine is holding his neck. He could be in lots of trouble now. Oh, can, can Ray Rose is Make the cover. Can, can he follow up on this? Can he capitalize on the office that he was able to hit? He's reaching over. He's reaching out, but he cannot even touch the champ. He doesn't have the energy to crawl across the reaching ring. Reaching for the ropes to help him get back to his feet. 
Ray Russell's giving it all he can just to make it to his feet at this point. He's fighting away, fighting his way up. Could he be going to the top? Standing up for that big elbow drop. The, the, the big elbow drop that has helped him win so many championships in the past, so many matches. Dead in the fight, made it back to his feet. Ray Russell. Oh, big snap suplex. Fantastic suplex from Ray Roses. Now he's back to the top, looking for the elbow. There he is. Set up. He's looking to the fans. Oh! And Danny Devine rolls out of the way. Like he, like I said before, Danny Devine knows this because that is his teacher. He has learned everything Ray Roses knows. That may be true, but I don't think Ray Roses knows everything Danny Devine knows. Danny Devine looks ready to retain the title right here. Oh! Big split check intervention from the top! That was fantastic. He slingshotted into a perfect divine intervention. Danny Cutter, that was a dynamite move. And that was dynamite. I think anyone else would have stayed down for the three, but Ray Rose has used that eight ring IQ. Real wise, he's right next to the ropes, and he just reached out and grabbed the rope. I don't think he would have been able to kick out, though. I have a feeling, Pink, if these two men wrestled 100 times, each one of them would win 50. Almost definitely. These guys trading back and forth. And like you said, they've been in the ring before, and they've traded wins back and forth. So evenly matched, this match up here tonight. Both of them. Good times are. Oh. Are you listening to that? Devine says that Ray Rosas' time's up. What time is it, champ? What time is it, Mr. Danny Devine? It looks like he's talking about time to put Ray Rosas to sleep. Time to put him out of his misery. Now what could the champion Danny Devine be setting up for? Look at this. Oh, what about the side of the cross? Oh! Big time face busted by Ray Rosas. And now he's stretching him. Ray Rosas is stretching the jam. The crowd is going crazy. They want to see the title change hands. Could this be Roses? Could the this be quit? it? Could the title change hands here tonight at MPW Heavy Rain? The champion some way somehow fighting up to his feet. Fighting out of it. Snap bear by the champion. Goes for another divine intervention. It's blocked. Oh, big back elbow by Ray Rosas. Ray Ray Rosas the oh, big Loops time moves up. Oh, and that could have put the champ out for good. One, two, only a two count. Oh, wow. I thought Danny Vine may have been unconscious there. He caught him with every bit of that moonsault and landed right on his head. Most definitely, and Ray Rosas pulling out a trick from his own bag with that big time lion salt. I haven't seen Ray Rosas hit that in quite some time. But Ray Rose has realized that if he's going to win this championship, if he's going to put away the champion, Danny Devine, he's going to have to reach into that old bag of tricks. Yeah. 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 Take now, Ray. And Ray Rose makes it back to his Twist. feet first. Hey. Ray Rose is setting up for the twist of hate. Going back to his Silver Heart Radicals days. Uh, this is a little bit after that. This is what he was running with. Hey! Oh! What a reversal into a divine intervention. The champ has got him down. The champ is looking for the pin. Danny Devine, One, he's got the leg two, hook, Dan. Three! What a move! What a finish! What a reversal! The champion is holding the title still. Oh my god! It's the former MPW heavyweight champion! Barbie Boy has returned.
I guess I'll see you next week for that belt, right? Oh! I didn't forget what you did. We were friends. And you threw that away for that. But now it's my time to get it back. So MPW can have a real, true champion again. I'll see you then, friends.